I'm still dope. And um, if y'all don't know now, you know, I ain't in Massachusetts. Oh, we are live and direct from La La Land, coming from Casa de Chris. Shahida, you should be here. We've got margaritas. We just popped a little bit of a, and um, it's a wonderful, like, it's gotta be like 80 degrees. It's, it's 80? That's nice. It's gotta be. It was like 75 in Redondo, but that's mm -hmm. that's by the beach. And Chris is, you know, more in inland, so it's it's warm, but it's a nice breeze and absolutely no humidity. Okay. So he's putting on a little bit of background music so we can enjoy with our cocktail. So I'm gonna slide over so we can uh I gotta get my. Y'all got the background music going too. Y'all just rubbing it in. Hey, I'm getting you back because remember you was here and I was at home all jealous. Where's clean? Clean, clean. Oh, I don't even got a cup. I don't even got a cup up here. That's not like you. you usually have right? some, some sort of like water beverage. So, you like my t-shirt? I got my Afro girl. I love it. I, I like. I love yours. For 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 the 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 Afro peakness of it, and then I love yours because who don't love Lou Grant? Who don't love Lou Grant? I, I hate Spock. And we've got Prince the Wonder Dog off here in the sun, just enjoying. Lounging. He's luxuriating with his handsome self. Mm -hmm. Tends to do. So I'm here for a little bit. Um, so we are going to be able to give you guys or gift you guys with not one but at least two tapings live and direct from Casa de Williams. This looks so nice. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. I put, the, I put the umbrella up because it was too hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so I need just to have, give us some shade. I may have to come by like midweek and suntan. Nice. Oh, more sun than the beach? I'm not, I'm not into like, those days are over for me, like laying my ass on the beach. I want to just be in my fatness and, you know, the privacy without having to suck in my belly. I mm -hmm. can just lay here. <laughs> I gained 10 pounds. I All them grits. 10 pounds. Oh, remember what I said early in the week? I walked out of the doctor's office like <laughs> crying because yeah. I gained 10 pounds. We got, we got, we got uh, summer coming up. So by June, end of June, that's my goal. Right. End of June. That's my goal. I signed, I signed it for fit on, I'm going to the gym and I'm going to increase my walking and I have to start to, I pulled my back somewhere. I have been like in pain for the last three or four days. I pulled my back some way. Are you stretching at all? Okay. Let's, I'll be honest a hundred percent. So every time before my physical, I always say like, Ooh, let me start exercising. And so last week, I literally rolled out of the bed onto the floor and just started doing some sit-ups. <laughs> Can't do that. We got so. Soul Train playing in the background, too, by the way. I'm like, oh, look, and it's a Soul Train line. I can't stand it. <laughs> I, can't hear, I can't hear anything. Well, let, let, let's get on. So, you oh, oh, so let, yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna I'm gonna make up some events that I am. I'm gonna make up like have a a, a poster of Vanessa Williams or an Idris, and it's gonna be like, look at look who I'm hanging out with. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, married at first sight. I'm Can I say I'm one thing I'm before we start? I'm gonna apologize to to our listeners. I did not watch it. I tried to watch it, but I hate it. It is like what, this, like talking to you all is fun still, but watching the show is like a job, it's a job so, I don't like. I was about to say the same thing. It is like a job for real. Like, it's like, like, it's like one of those jobs and I like my job. I like my job. I love but mine. I, um, this one here to, to watch it, it's, been it's painful. like, it's painful. I can't. Well, this week's episode was 
all of the couples met individually with Pastor Cal and what's her name? Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. And um, I'll, I mean, let's let's just start with. How about we start with Steve and Noy? Okay. Annoying, I should say. I'm I'm over I'm over everybody really. Mm -hmm. I'm just over people. Um, uh, first of all, I can't find the, the do not disturb. But first of all, Steve is the most mature one in the whole whole story. He is. The, the whole show. He is the most mature. He's the most serious, I think, about getting married and having a good marriage and being able to sacrifice. And putting in putting, the work. Putting in the work, all of that shit. He's still... If you watch the after party too, I didn't. I couldn't. Uh, the after party, she she said to him, "How much do you think?" Remember, remember he asked a lot the week before. Oh, when she Noy, said, "Ask Noy, yeah, the 40,000? 40, yeah. Mm -hmm. And he goes, that, "Okay, that's that's taken care of." So he has the money. Mm -hmm. well, okay, so again, like I said. Why, why she won't Google him is beyond me because I've been all over Google and there have been things floating around the internet that he has got money. Like he created two apps from scratch, from scratch and he sold them. And there was just another old article from the Boston Globe that came out and um, somebody posted it on one of the Facebook married at first sight pages. And it shows that he makes between, he makes like $80,000 a month just based off of those no, apps. No, that can't be. And his it can't be, but, but who knows? Ah. It would be. But his net worth is anywhere between three and four million. Which means really one and two million if, if it's the Yeah, internet, that's true. Interwebs. Yeah. Um but again, let's also not be remiss in the fact that he also has a very nice apartment in Boston that he pays for and he lives alone. And we as we all know it is not cheap to live in Boston. Not even for a one bedroom. Nope. So he's got space. He wasn't in no little hole in the wall like Noy was. So he got some coin. And again, but, he's not bothered. Yeah, but he's she, not stressed. She's annoying though. She is annoying. And that, and so I'm, that, I'm not sure ahead. whether I'm not sure whether whether it is that they're just playing it up for the show. They need something. I think so. It has to be. Because the because only thing they're coming up with. Oh, that and the I don't like the 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 text she's been doing. Oh, the social media posts. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's just her showing her age. She's just she's just young. That's all. And then and but I what I did not like about it is that she was um so indignant about it. She was like, um, I get what you're saying, Steve, and what Pastor Cal is saying as far as like putting our business, putting my personal business on there. But she basically was like. But at the end of the day, it's my social media and I should be able to do what I want with it. And then when he was trying to have a conversation with her, she all, she had like this stank look on her face like she was just disgusted with him. I really want him to just drop her ass and then, you know, bitch slap her with, you know, his um, bank statement. I think it might be in because I'm, I'm with you, Tanya. Why didn't she Google him? Maybe they, they're, they're told not to go on. I still Google. And I. I know, but you know, okay. maybe she's playing by the rules. Who knows? But because it doesn't even make sense that the first thing that you do when you find out the person's first and last name, I would be in the bathroom at the wedding Googling. So, you, you know, that same day when I got enough information. So I'm thinking that maybe they tell them that they can't do it. Yeah, they have to because there's no way. I would imagine, like, because whenever we've seen an episode, they don't know shit. They don't know really anything about them. Basic Maybe they're calling from. They take their phone. I don't know what the hell. But they did. They can't take their well unless right. she's on her computer because she's still posting on social media. So either but she's doing it from a laptop. Social media is blocked though for us. Only for her friends and family right now can see it. Yeah, but I don't. I yeah, I don't see them not taking their phones. I don't. I, I can't yeah, see. I, don't think, I think they, they do take their phones. Stuff. Yeah, you see her on the phone all the time. time. To do it or something? Hmm? Or the other person's there all they don't have time. You would have time to do. You do. I don't know. You go to the bathroom, you got time. 
Yeah, but would basically. you do it? I guess you would do a deep dive on your husband, right? Or your wife. At this but point, I think it has to be the only thing that is a problem with them because he even, like, when he talked to Dr. Pepper in the episode, he's like, she's like, you need to really let her know a plan so she feels comfortable. And she has this look on her face. She's developed a Jasmina look of kind of like, She's real stink now. Real stink. Real stinky face. Mm -hmm. And he's really um, been doing a good job of like expressing to him his disappointment. He's with the social media post. He's like, is this about me? Not with anger. Yeah. Is this about me? And she's like, "Uh, no, that's that's not about you. He's like, well, bitch, who's it about then? But what it, again, and he was right when he said that, um, it gives the perception like yeah. by her putting like she deserves better you know it with his family and his friends and just you know their their people that they're around it gives that perception that she's talking about the relationship yeah but which she's is, a little, little child she is so she's immature and you know it is what it is um but so she just wants to she just wants him to have a job for some reason i'm like and he keeps saying I could make more money being independent doing the things that I'm doing now. Why do you want me to have a job? It's kind of like the old school mentality of the older generation saying. That's yeah, all I was going to say. Some people can't benefit. get mm-hmm. out of that zone where people can be entrepreneurs, that they can do side hustles and they can have jobs outside of the normal office. And she just can't wrap her head around it, which is yeah. crazy because she's so young. And what, what she didn't comprehend which was like for me i was like ding like hell yeah i would love that when he said and even wouldn't you wouldn't you want to like take time off too like you know like say they had a baby and he could make money by freelancing and my the way i took it was like this motherfucker is going to be making so much coin that just freelancing that he, she can take all the time off in the world and do nothing, go shopping. He basically was saying that. And she's just like, I just want you to get a job. So I'm petty and I want him to go get a job at like Whole Foods or something, making like minimum wage. And he's sitting on a mint of money and he just does it. And, you know, doesn't help her out around the house or nothing. I'm just petty. But she's just not really, um, she doesn't, I think she doesn't realize what she has. No. You know what I mean? And she might be letting Sriracha get in her ear too. Oh my God. I'm just saying. Yeah. I think it, she's it, it, it's really unfortunate that she is so immature, so stuck in an old pattern that she can't like, you know, and I feel like she's definitely going to ex- accept it. And maybe it is that part is scripted. It could possibly be, but I don't like her anymore. I, I love them as a couple in the very beginning. Well, I didn't love them. I liked them as a couple because there's like not one one couple on here that I said that I, I have strong emotion for, except for like, oof. but um, yeah, I don't like her anymore. No, no. And I want I don't want Steve to say yes at decision day. I hope she just keeps digging her ass in a hole to the point where he's going to be like, you know what? No. Well, they talked about also on the episode. She's like, she's like, well, when did you have plan for have kids? He's like, I don't know. Like, when do you want to have them? She's like, a year. He's like, okay. And she was kind of taken aback, surprised, like, oh, that, I that's see that part. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, mm-hmm. he's giving her all the answers she needs. Basically, why she she does not deserve that relationship. She doesn't deserve the patience of him. Uh, maybe she'll grow into it, but yeah, I, I, I don't like her. I'm she's done. what, 26? No, oh, she's, she's younger 20. than that. I think she's, I think she's like 20. I think, I don't think she's 25, to be honest with you. I, I hope she's older than tw- 25. I, I thought she was 25. How old yeah, I don't think she's older than 25. Oh, look, I just put in, how old is Noi? And it says, Steve Moy is 30, 38. That's what I and got too. <laughs> Thomas Sack is 33. Oh, she's 33. She don't, she don't act like she's 33. No, she acts like she's in early 20s. She's that old? Yeah, I could. 33. I, I would have thought she was at least like 25. She acts like she's 25. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, she's too old to be this stupid. She's Jason. too old to be that stupid and not realize what 
his she, work is in the tech industry right now. Correct. Or worse in general, if he is taking care of the bills, I don't. I just don't get it. I don't, if he I don't get the bills part either. And this, that, and the other. What are you stressing about? Yeah. Well, she I think she, you know what I'm up I, and go you know to a job. Is, I think it is that she's bothered that she has to work. She has to go and she just have the capabilities to do that. So she's like, well, I want you to be miserable with me type of thing. Yeah, but she's working from home. It's not like she's but going, man, it's not like she's getting in the saying driving. that he's going to take care of you. He's going to yeah. take, you're already married. He's saying he's going to take care of you. And at one point, and he got enough money. At one point you said, you know what? I want to strike out on my own and not have the fear of having to worry about money. Can I do that? He'll be like, go ahead and do it, girl. Go ahead. Or well, basically, again, work. again, she's too stupid. Because now it's, if she's 33, I'm, I'm beyond the, oh, she's too young. Now I'm just saying she's too stupid to yeah. realize what she has. Yeah. Yeah. She just wants him to just go and do like a regular nine to five. I'll be good with a side hustle, dude. That's making like big, big money. Because basically we will able to spend time together. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to worry about the normal eight to five. Not only that, if he made an app and it sold, and then he made another Two. app. Two. And then he has one, and then he made another one. He can make another one. To, you know, he's obviously knows what he's. Anyway. All he needs is a laptop. He doesn't have to go into an office. All he needs to do is sit his ass on the couch or by the pool or somewhere, anywhere in the world, because, you know, all you need is Wi-Fi and he could just bust out an app and sell it. Yeah. She's dumb. All right, I think he's going to say right. yes. She's going to say yes. He's, because... de he's definitely saying yes. They definitely stay together. So I just want to get to the point of why is Pastor Cal setting up my man for a huge failure? With Michael and Jasmina. And setting I hate to ask you this, up. Chris. I no. hate to ask you this, but can you just recap because your girl didn't watch? <laughs> oh, so basically, <laughs> that's right. Basically, he was saying to him, he's like, "Yeah, we've come a long way. We're communicating now. It's going really good." And he's like, "What about the physical stuff?" He's like, "Well, I'm trying to give her space." You know, you know, not to be physical, to be aggressive with her, aggressive once again, because he's afraid that how she's going to react to it. And he's like, "What if you did reach out to her? Like, what if you did like start to talk, touch yeah. her?" And, yeah. he, and he's like, "I think you should maybe start, you know, doing that type of thing, of showing your affection." But he's like, "Yeah, I think we're, I think we're going to that." And then on the other thing, my Dr. Pepper, and she, she's like. I'm just not feeling him yep. touching me. Yeah. Only you know we're we're affectionate kind of, but and I don't she's like a him. Very sexual person. Remember, she was like, "I'm a very sexual person. I love having you know being intimate and having sex. I just can't do it with." I just need him. to feel it. I'm not feeling it. Yeah, I'm not feeling it. So you know he's gonna try some shit. They used to kiss every night. Oh yeah. They used to kiss. Do you hear what he said? No, I can't. Remember. They used to kiss every night. Like that before the bed. And the only reason why she was doing it, it was out of obligation. <gasps> Terrible. So they stopped doing that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they won't touch each other. But Pastor Cal is like thinking, I wish they would give them re the reality of what they see. Or, well, I, I guess they're just hearing what, what they're saying to them like a therapist would be. Because your therapist wouldn't see... What you're, what's whole, really, yeah, the whole picture. So I guess, I guess that would be the best way to handle that. Of like, yeah. Well, it seems like your your communication is going really well. Good for you. And you've gone. He's like, you've gone through a lot of things, um, already together, and you're still sorry about that. And then you're still, um, um, doing well. I mean, you're doing much better than you did before. And uh, I don't know. I don't think, I, I, let me just say this. I don't think Jasmina is going to say yes. Oh, no, no, no. I think that Jasmina is just a lot, going along for the ride and get, you know, get to decision day and she's going to tell him no. Um, I think she's looking, probably looking to parlay this into something 
more outside of, you know, after the show was over. Um, uh, Michael, though, I don't know. That's what I was after thinking. this, after this episode, like the last episode, I thought that Michael would probably say no um, on decision day because he'd be like, you know, I'm I'm sick of this. But I don't know. I'm thinking he might say yes. Well, they'll they'll let her go first, right? I hope. Oh, we wonder if they let Michael go first and he says yes. She's, she's gonna, gonna say look, no. She's gonna, of course, she's gonna say no regardless of what he says. Yeah, she's gonna say. But no. I wonder, I wonder if if they'll let her go first to save him some face. Probably or not. Or let him go first so she looks like a complete asshole. That could be true too. Yeah, I don't know. But with Married at First Sight, you know, they're, they're all about the drama. So they may let him go first or make him go first. And if he's going to say yes, and then he, you know, she's like, no. I think he's intuitive enough to know that she doesn't want him. I don't think he yeah, that never that. stops. That doesn't stop a man. Yeah. You can intuitively know shit, but if the man is trying to, if he's almost there, he's almost got her. Men, men are hunters. He... Well, yeah. we're, we're making progress, and she's beautiful. And then, hopefully, if I, he's trying so fucking hard, they always the want whole something season. They, he's yeah. been trying hard. You're right. Men, men are like that. They're hunters. They want something they can't have. He's trying so hard. Yeah, that's true. If she was giving it to him on a nightly basis or a daily basis, oh. he wouldn't be. He wouldn't be all into her like like he's doing the most now. Mm-mm. No, I think he would be just because I don't think he could think that he would get a woman like her. That is out this. You're right. Which is 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 surprising to me because I've heard a couple of other people say that he can't believe he has a woman like her, and 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 maybe I'm oversimplifying it in my head because I'm thinking like she doesn't seem like a nice person. You, yeah, you might have thought, oh, on that wedding day she was absolutely drop dead gorgeous, but her inner her inner spirit is just so ugly mm-hmm. that. You can get somebody ten times better than her because at the end of the day, her beauty it, 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 it's it's totally faded from the from the beginning to where we are now. Her beauty has faded and her ugliness has grown because of her attitude. Yeah. So you can get somebody far better. They might not look as attractive to you as her, but they will be ten times more beautiful in your head and spirit because they're they're a good person. Correct. I agree. And I'm die. I'm die or digressing real quick to Love is Blind, um, Japan. Was it Japan? Yes, Japan. Um, just like Jasmina, you all know when I when I first saw her, I was like in love with her. I thought she was flawless. She was gorgeous. And then she, as the time went on, just because of her personality, I was like, Ugh. like she's not, Priya? she's not as attractive to me or at all. I'm talking about the guy, um, the guy the that. Oh. The guy that Priya was with on Love Is Blind Japan. Oh, he had all the looks. Yeah. When he first, when he, I first saw him, I was like, "All right, he's kind of cute," and he got even more attractive to me when he said he was a restaurateur, like he's a chef, restaurateur. He owned his own restaurant, and I'm like, "Ooh, okay, great." He was sexy as all get out, and in an instant, when it came to fruition, that he was just the employee. The boner was over, and well, all I can look partner. at him is like a he's child. A he's not a partner. Not I a still found him very he's attractive. A partner and just the guy said he was the partner. I still found him very attractive, and I understood why he kind of embellished it. But he, he didn't embellish. He, I mean, he was straight up lied. No, well, see, okay, now, oh, see, that you can call a lie. No, he embellished. He embellished. He was not a partner, but. That guy considered him his partner too, even yes. though he didn't financially put that money in. And he was working just as hard as a partner would for that business. So why would you say that you're a partner if your partner thinks you're a partner and exactly. you're not a partner? Anyway, another the thing point. is, my point with him is he might have been, he might have told a lie. Now, as, as you said, you thought he became automatically unattractive. He was still yeah. a good person. Michael? He was never dis- disrespectful. No, not Michael. I'm talking about the guy on Love is um, Love is Blind Japan. He which was no one has watched it except for us. Huh? Which no one has watched except yeah, for us. Everybody sorry. has watched it. We'll a lot of people that. have. I've recommended that to a lot of people. It's really too. good. I, I do too. Michael will find just like my man Merla 
What's his name? Oh, um, oh my God, what's his name? Gail. 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 Just like Gail, Michael's gonna be just fine. Fine, he is. He's 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 a he's nice shown he's guy. He's a nice man. He works out. He's handsome. He's family yeah. oriented. She just was not. She just thinks. He's just not. She's not a good person. She's not. Well, you know what? She's not a nice person. And she's wanna... just like all of them. Like they all. I mean, let me. Um, what's his? Um, Jasmina broken. She got way too many issues. She needed therapy before she even decided to date, let alone get married. Um, Lindsay and Mark. Oh, please, Lindsay. Whatever. Noi obviously has issues. Steve is not broken. Bringing. Steve's the only one that's not broken. Yeah, Steve's the only one that's not really broken. All right. Well, okay. So, what was up with um, Mark and um, and what's in, damn? He's, he, he, Mark and um, Lindsay. It, it's so it, it's interesting when I see the experts trying to get them because they want it to work when clearly it's not going to work. No, clearly Lindsay has major issues. Yep, she yep. keeps saying Mark's just holding on for dear fucking life. Mark is like, I'm trying to do everything I can. I gotta finish this show, and, and uh, yeah, and you know I'm trying to give her as much, but she's just not. Like I said last week, Mark is not, Mark's going to say no with force on decision day. And the only reason why he's waiting for decision day is because he is fucking afraid of her to the point where he's, you know, he wants to walk out of this marriage right now on each episode. But I think he is petrified that she will fucking lose her shit and probably stab him. They did have a, in the episode, they did have a breakthrough type of thing where Pastor Cal was like, who is who did that to your in your parents' relationship? Is she acting like because I think his father was abusive to the mother, or just no, no, didn't no. Say it was vice versa. His mother was verbally abusive to the father, and the father always shut, shut down, down and didn't say anything. And she's like, "That was are, Mark's that parents." Yeah. yeah, and he said, "Are you?" But I thought he said, "Are you like your mother?" No, he he said, "Do you are you afraid that you're 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 going to be like the your dad?" Fu- you're, yeah, like you you're af- just going to shut down. And not say nothing. And he starts crying. He was like, he never thought of it that way of like, you know. And you see how he, he do shut it. down at the volleyball when they went on the, the whole the whole group of them went on this volleyball outing and Cal and Dr. Pepper were watching watching them. in the background. They didn't know that the on experts site. were there. And um Lindsay was going on and on and on, and Mark legit shut down like didn't utter a word. He just was sitting there and then he kept he kept like going further and further away from her. Like she kept leaning they said, in. They said the question was, so Steve said, how, so how's everyone doing in their relationships? And she was chewing, she goes, Mark? And he's like, no, I'll let you go. And he's just petrified of her. Yeah. So how did, how did it end? How did it start with them? Because wasn't it last week where they had the big argument in the bedroom? And it was just the subtitles, remember? And oh, with like, the cats, when they were taking the pictures with the cats, yeah, yeah. So, so for this, how did they kind of like you know, it, they like never it? showed it? Nope, it, oh, just, it, goes, it, just, it just goes on because you know that's what their relationship yeah. is, and yeah. you know that she's fucking crazy and he's petrified, yeah, that's what it comes down to. And again, she is not willing to own, and she doesn't not. see it. Like she, in her brain, she doesn't see that she's wrong because you see when she was talking with Dr. Pepper, Dr. Pepper went and saw her and Dr. Pepper is trying to like talk to her about her and think how she can better say things, you know, word what she says to Mark. And she, her face is just like looking at Dr. Pepper like, ain't nothing wrong with me. Like that's what I was getting from her body language. She's like, ain't nothing wrong with me. That's all him. She's like, I want to be seen. I want to be validated. And he's like, and Mark was like, you know, you want me to chase, like, not chase you, but he's like, you're not, it's just bad. Listen, that's a no-go all the way around. I mean. He's just trying to get, he's not trying to survive. Yeah, he's, he's, just, he's yep, trying to survive. He's trying to survive, he's trying to, survive to get to the off. couch. <laughs> He, yep. He's playing the Hunger Games. He's just trying to get out of there alive. That's all he's doing. 
that is all that brother is doing. Uh, so, so yeah, last so, one, so they had a, they all got together, and they and oh, so the last the big one was your boy and, and Karina. Not my boy. What happened? Oh, so, I like Karina. <laughs> I didn't even catch it. I didn't even catch it. Go ahead. Dr. Pepper goes, Dr. Pepper goes, you missed it. Goes to him. So I'm hearing that you're not, um, you're talking down to your wife and you're not making her feel, feel, making her feel less than that she's not confident enough to be your wife. You made that a couple of times. And he's like, hold up, Dr. Pepper, hold up. Like, does he say, she said stuff. He thinks someone else is saying it as opposed to what she's fucking seen. Yeah. So he's taking it. She's trying to come. He, she's kind of coming after me, make me look bad. You're trying to come after me and make me look bad. I was like, no, motherfucker, you're doing that shit on your own. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Somebody needs to save Katina for real, though, because when they were at the when they were at the volleyball place and I got to look that up, Shahida, because we should do that like a good uh, have like a group fun day and do that. If you can do like it's like it looks like a beach indoors anyway Mm -hmm. but they were all um sitting there and olajuwon is talking mad shit about dr Dr. pepper Pepper. while dr pepper's watching right Mm -hmm. and she's like keep talking olajuwon keep talking and so he's going on like you know and he's like you know me i put it i put everything on the table he's so animated it's disgusting and then he's like i put everything on the table i say what i mean and you know dr pepper didn't do nothing for me like she said this and she tried to make me look the I thought you're trying to help out. I thought she's, the experts are trying to help our relationship. And they just talk about me saying that I'm this, that, and the other. But he say she said stuff. Like I'm not I'm not playing with that. I'm I'm real. And then they come walking out because Dr. Pepper had had it. And she's like, let's go. So her and Pastor Cal walk out. And then they're all like, they all see them and they're like, oh, and what does he do? He sits there all smug, but he's got this look on his face like, oh shit. Like now, I'm about to be really called out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That, yep, yep. And and then okay, you be, be a large one. Since we're here in person, you're so, a large one. So he's like, and she's just like, she literally went into full like abuse victim mode. Like she's sitting there, she had her hoodie, and she's just like this. And he's just yeah, I, talking his shit. You know, I, I'm trying to you know do this, and I, I didn't feel like you were attacking. Felt like you were attacking me, and this, that, and the other, but. I'm done with him. And he said he wasn't in love. Oh, yeah. Again, I heard that. I heard that. And somebody was saying to me, why does he keep saying that to her? And I'm like, because he likes the reaction he gets from saying that to her because he he knows it it hurts her. Yes, he does it because he can. I still think he's terrified. That's uh, you know I'm gonna go back to. I think he's an asshole. I think he's he's an asshole who's terrified. Yeah, yeah, he's a complete dick. Because I think if he says I love you, he's gonna be beholden and to treat her like he loves her. Because you see her whole demeanor changes when he does talk nice about her and he's like, you know, I adore this woman. Uh, you know, that's my wife and this, that. Her whole face, sometimes she goes from like depressed for God's sakes to like she gets that twinkle in her eye. Like she eats that shit up when he talks like that. I think, I just with, think that they really with step with in him. Is I don't know what his relationship was with it with his parents if they were together if they were separated or whatever but it's clear to me that he has such a negative view on how men should behave which is kind of like you know belligerent to women mm-hmm. yeah that that definitely belligerent and then that they should that their wealth their 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 worth is determined on how they react so katrina kind of like you know sheltering down and be, you know hiding or whatever she um <laughs> she said <got> katrina <laughs> huh katarina you said katrina <laughs> that, i i hate you for that chris because i was I know that. That girl. but um <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> but he he really can't seem to to get beyond that. Just let's be happy together. It, it always has to be some kind of you know right. conflict, and it comes from him, not her. It's him. yeah, 
Yeah. Why can't I mean, he just they went be shopping. happy? They went shopping together, grocery shopping together. He's also he's also very um he just wants to be dominant all the time. Yeah. Like until you know, I know what's best. I, now if the brother was smart, you know, and knew a lot of shit, be one thing, but he's like just me. Me, uh, right, right. But he's like, you know, telling he's her what idiot. to do, you know, why would you do that? And oh, oh, I want you to make ribs for me. He's she's like, well, I just season it. She's like, oh, he's like, what do you season it with? Huh? We, have, we need to have a rib off because I can probably cook better than you with it's in the other. Just kind of putting her down, you know, aside, putting her down. He's so insecure. It's like he, he's so insecure and it comes off and it, it, it comes. OK, you know what he reminds me of? OK, it was remember the big debate this week. They were talking about future. How does Sierra go from future? To, to to Russell Wilson and people were dogging yeah, Russell dog Wilson. Him. Why? People don't because they didn't feel like he like will they felt like uh, Russell Wilson wasn't a man like future is. There's no comparison. And and Elajuan reminds me of that too. A weak yeah. mofo who doesn't really know what manhood is because part of being a man is treasuring the woman making her feel good about herself. It's like like Steve. Like, look what Steve brings to the table. He's secure in who he is. You know, he's confident in his abilities. And so that's why he's always calm and cool. You're over here having fits and rages about stuff because you know what? You're not secure in yourself. Yeah. And I wish, I wish we could talk to Katina and let her know that this man he's not he's not a man right now he's still a boy yeah. he's i still just want you to just step up and be be the person that with the with the with the, the curtains i want more of that with her saying no no no, you don't know what you're doing right i want her yes. i want more of her voice of yes. like you can do all that kind of stuff but i have my own things that you don't have let me show you this let me show you that and they talked about the intimacy as well Okay. Like why, why haven't you been intimate? And he's like, oh, she, and she was like, oh, well, you know, if I'm getting getting ready, whatever, he'll slap my butt. And kiss on the neck. And kiss, kiss on the neck the or back something. Neck. So there's that. But, but they're not fucking. Still. It's weird. It's very weird. It's very weird. Very weird. I'm, it's telling, just, you, I'm telling you, he's worried he's going to Your wife? Something. You can't, you can't get it on with your wife? Now. If he gives in to that, he's going to lose his power. Right now, he has the upper hand with everything else, but he's going to lose yeah. his power. And then he, once they have sex, he's going to fall in love with her, and then she's going to run the show, and that's what he's afraid of. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I, know, I know that they stay together. That's all I know, and I don't know why. I I can't believe that they stay together. But, nah, I, I can kind of believe it because she's just – So think, look, yeah. look at this. Let, let me say one thing. We're only at, what, 39 minutes, basically. And we didn't cover it this whole show, even though yeah, I we didn't did. watch. We didn't cover this whole show. I'm just saying, Lifetime, you yeah. all need to do better or you're just really going to lose people. Because let me tell you what I, the ultimatum I watched, loved it. I'm on episode Love three. is Blind, Japan 1 and 2, loved it. I'm watching right now. Um, what else? What am I watching right now? Oh, did you guys ever watch that show, Dating Around? No. Watch it. It's like a single person dates all these people. Another one. Wait, I'm sorry, but watch it. It's good because it's more mature. So what? What? What's the? What's the? Um, backdrop of was, Dating Around. So basically, it's like um, they go on four dates with four different people. And then at the end of the show, there's only like 30 minute show for each one. They um, they select the one that they want to go on a second date with. And it kind of ends like that. But the conversations and seeing the um, the interactions, it's really good. Whereas I'm saying marry that first sight right now is just it's trash. They're stretching it. They're stretching it. Yeah. They're stretching it. Like and then it's like there's to too much good TV people. out here. For us to be wasting our time trying to tune in for two hours 
of two bullshit. Hours, for two hours of shit. Did you know I was on a dating show? Yeah, yeah, I remember. I saw you sent us the clip one time. Oh what? yeah, I did see that clip. I change, thought it was like the what is change it? Change of heart. Yep, yep. I remember you sent us the clip. But was it? Is it scripted? How? How? Well, how? well, well. When you're on the couch, they like put your arm around her, mm -hmm. um, and say, you know, say nice things or whatever, and then. Yeah. But how did that work? Like you went yeah. on a date with this person? So I went on a date with her and we went to jo Joffrey's in Malibu, really nice date. Mm. We had a nice phone conversation for two hours, had a little peck at the end of the date. But she was with this dude who was also going on a date. I believe she was pregnant at the time. Because <gasps> you see her, she has like a, I was like, like when we finally come back, she's a baby bump. I'm like, she's, oh. I think she's pregnant. Mm-hmm. And it was just kind of like, it was it was dumb. But they did kind of lead you to be like, why, why don't you say this, you know, tell us what happened on the date and, you know, lead you into, yeah, well, it was good or bad or to make them jealous or that kind of stuff. Like, would you guys kiss? Like, well, we had a little peck. I'm like, say that, say that. Like, say you got to get a kiss. Oh, they just okay. Okay. So it's not scripted so much. And, and I don't think a lot of it is scripted. I do think it's controlled, but not so much scripted. But I just feel with Married at First Sight, they are making a lot of bad errors. Yeah. And, but and 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 selection because it's as 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 the as we all are seeing, this all this conflict is boring to us, which is yeah. a good thing. You know, it's like no one i i looked at the the um on twitter the night of the show or whatever nobody cares anymore people are fast forwarding through it because we know what's going we know who yeah we know who everybody us. is yeah it's Lindsay's not us. fucking crazy mark mm -hmm. is scared elijah one's an asshole katrina's a, a, abuse abused woman mm -hmm. steve's mature noise immature and wants to know him have a job and fucking what's the last one? My, Michael and Jesse. And Michael, they setting him up to fucking fail. Yeah. She ain't in no way she won't not even like a cool. And you know, even Dr. Pepper was saying to her, um, Jasmina, you know, so how's the intimacy? And she's like, Yeah, you know, um, you know, we'll touch or whatever or whatever. And I mean, I was like, she's like, I'm just not I'm just not touched by him or whatever. Or, Mm -hmm. Just setting setting that boy up for failure, setting him up. This by far is one of the worst casts I've ever seen, as far as like matchup. I guess I'll call them casts. It is a show. Um, it, it's it's awful. It is absolutely and us being, awful. Us being like born and raised like Bostonians, it's like there is better quality people out there. But then again. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe those quality people don't want to be on a show like Married at First Sight. But and they need to entice more mature people because they do. The, the fault is on. I think, I think that it's the whole, it's what you were saying before. I think it's them just not choosing correctly or choosing right. people that's going to be good TV as opposed to choosing people who really want to get married and are mature enough to handle it. But I think us as viewers are saying this is not good TV. We don't want this. No. We want better. And I think I'm hoping that they're paying attention to all the tweets and, you know, all the people tuning out. Because like me, I said, I, I tried to watch it. I got like three minutes in and I'm just like, I can't do it. You know, it's not it's two hours, two it's hours of my life. It's way too it's long. Too much. Yeah way too long I need for how many weeks minutes. though yeah i need a good 50 50 minutes and i'm good mm -hmm. but all right off of off of this horrible boston crew um please tell me y'all saw just when i thought i was going to be done with married at first sight apparently it's true i thought it was a joke when i first saw it on the internet apparently there's going to be a married at first sight celebrity edition uh no, I, I, and guess what? That. That. that was on April first, though. It was on April Fool's Day. Is that not true? Because somebody put in there it was true. I Man, think it was, a, it was an April Fool's joke. Damn. Well, that's some bullshit. 
Well, damn, I was all excited because I was like, you know, we're going to watch that shit. <laughs> we got to talk about Vivica Fox and uh, Lonnie yeah, but Love. But it would be interesting, a celebrity one where, where you know everything about them, but you don't. And would you like the things about them? You know what I mean? That's putting your brand out there and I wouldn't do it. Yeah, no, I wouldn't if I if was. I was a, no. Well, you know what? I could do it. I don't. Have, I don't feel like I have like skeletons enough. But I also think I'm like a Steve type of person to date. If I had to break my personality, I wonder if it would be better with a celebrity and a non-celebrity, or celebrities together. That's what I, I was th thinking. I think celebrities together would be entertaining. Number one, because then you've got these egos. You know what I mean. You've got these two, cl not clashing, but you've got, you know, they're on certain levels or whatever, of fame, whatever. And it's like, I think the, I think it'd be- But it would be ego. hard for the, the only Dang. thing about that, in, in real, realistically, it'd be hard to have them together for that long and not working. Yeah, true. To not be attention to, you know, it would have to be a different format of like, how could you make it where, and they wouldn't get married. Yeah, I mean, I guess we married first. I mean, oof. No. They, they, remember the 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 proposal on Fox? I do remember I, that. I remember that. I never I watched it. We had a celebrity edition with Lisa Ray. Oh yes, I remember that. Yes, and she she ended up with a dude. This dude, yeah. With and the he dude. asked he asked her to marry her. No, not the, not the dude from what was it? Turks and Caicos. Yes, but nothing yeah, panned oh, out. Okay. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, the proposal but i don't know i mean i guess like a show would i would wouldn't mind seeing like a, a celebrity dating show with like non-celebrities i shouldn't say like ordinary people non-celebrities like you or i well we, i would like to think we're celebrities now <laughs> um but just like non-celebrity like nobody knows who their engagement are. ended after one month she said of yes it did. and she said yeah yeah that was yeah. I knew it wasn't going to work anyway because he wasn't even. Yeah, I am. Mm, I, I wonder how that would be a celebrity, a celebrity, and you a could, non. -celebrity. You could be like, and the celebrity and non-celebrity would be one thing, because I think they would. The the non-celebrity would would totally give more leeway to a celebrity of like, well, that's just, you know what I mean? They would give more consideration because if they like the celebrity, for instance. And he was an asshole. I think they would be like more like, well, you know, I understand what well, he's an, he's an asshole, but you but know I what I mean? I, I just, but I, that could also kind of like hurt you as well because now you're letting somebody into your world that could easily, you know, if you're an asshole, could easily, you know, put your business out there. I mean, yeah, with social I, media and stuff. I don't know like, if that's necessarily a bad thing because assholes still work. That's true. So, and but publicity really works whether you're an asshole or you're not. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It'd be, it'd be, it would just be an interesting experiment to see. You know what I mean? I, 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 I agree. It would be interesting. I'm not, I'm not totally interested on the in the celebrity side of it only because I feel. Like I feel like I think I will be thinking it's more scripted than it isn't. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I would feel that way. Whether it and then they could be like, no, it's not. Well, what about marriage boot camp and stuff? Those are all celebrities. But that I don't, I don't watch I those. That is one hundred percent scripted, though. I I get it that these are couples or or husband and wife or what have you, and they may have some issues. But I think once they agree to be on the show, I think it just goes to a whole nother level. Like it's, I think that shit's all scripted. I don't, think, I don't know if it's all scripted. I just, I never got into it, but I, you know, and I probably should watch maybe a few because I, I really can't comment on that. But all I want to see really is I don't mind conflict. I don't, you know, because actually seeing conflict and seeing how people work out their conflict is good. It's a learning curve for everybody. I just want the professionals to pick people that are not broken all the time and yeah. think that that's entertainment because it's not entertainment for me it's boring to me but yeah. let me ask you this though do you think in society today people are normal 
I don't think I think that's the the norm to have everybody have issues right now. I think these no, are the no and I and I don't and I don't want to use the word normal when I say normal, but people who everyone has issues. Exactly. Some are bigger than others, but everyone has issues. Right. Right. So are they choosing people who have semi issues or not issue? You know what I mean? Like or yeah. thinking that I think they're choosing people without without probably knowing what their issues are, but matching them with people with issues that can exasperate the other issues. So they're doing it purposely. To, to make because they think that's good TV and I think what we're all saying you know is that it's not good TV anymore it's no. gotten boring Lindsay, hmm? Lindsay and Mark Mark would be a good person for Lindsay he would but she has way too many issues and yeah. she she's is not learning and she's not learning no, no. I just want a kind of gentler more type of scenario again like since Atlanta with Chris and Paige, it's just gotten worse and worse yeah. each season. And now here we are, what, three seasons from that time? Yeah. No, it was a two. Is it season, two? The third season, yeah. Since, uh, I mean, yeah, the second And season. remember, we love New Orleans. Remember, we love New Orleans. And they did have a toxic couple, even though we thought they were toxic, they're still together. But it was a good that was probably the best. Yeah, that was the a good best one. season in terms of like matching two people up with, even though most of the four or five of them got married, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was like yeah. it was three. I think it was three out of the Bennett, out of the five. Bennett and Amelia, mm-hmm. um, our, our, our couple, boy. Woody and Imani, and then um, what's her name, His Karen best. and uh, Miles. Yeah, so that was three out of five. I don't remember who were the other people? Remember, one of them broke up before they because he he checked out early. I forget. Um, oh my god, I forgot who it was. Oh, it was the girl oh, that the, was oh, the basketball oh, oh, oh. player. The oh, basketball, was the basketball player. player. Yes, and then there was the other one, the guy. Um, oh, he was an asshole. He was just an asshole. He was an asshole. Yeah, he had his own house. Remember, and um, yeah, he, he kept talking mm-hmm. about that was her. a good season. So, so out of the that all was of the couples, season. we had two bad ones because. One was just a liar and a cheat, and the other one was an asshole. Okay, I get it, you know? And I think that since then, they said, let's bring in a little bit more. Let's get in a little bit more drama. It doesn't seem like they're vetting, and I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Yeah, yeah. (sighs) But I had a good week watching Ultimatum, I'll tell you that much. (laughs) I'm going to watch that. And oh, we need you know to we need to come back next week. We also we should do two shows next week. Time to get your butt on over there because that's yeah. April thirteenth is when they pick. So we need to we need and to the reunion oh, so show, and that. the reunion show on the same day. Yeah. Here's the other thing. I think what they really should do with Married at First Sight is really only have people from thirty to forty. People who are mature enough, hopefully mature enough, mm-hmm. to handle shit, yeah. have a career already, most likely, mm-hmm. mature, really want to get married. You know what I mean? And not and just be on TV. The ultimatum that bothered me is these 25, 26 year olds. Yeah. They don't fucking know any, they don't know any better. 23. The youngest is 23. Right. And like Rand, Randall, <laughs> I'm like, Randall reminded me of me to a certain extent. Mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. he's like he he can't pay he doesn't pay attention to anything but mm-hmm. he, in his own mind which is understandably rational he's like yeah but you know why aren't you doing this and she's like the, the women are usually more mature he just couldn't he just can't grasp it yeah zay is just a young mess you know what i mean and he has a lot of trauma from his childhood and he's just holding on to her but and, and then you have to at one point and I, I um I forget what her name was. She got, you got to stop using that as an excuse for yeah. all your bad behavior. Yeah. There were some gems that came out of there. The parents were on point. You know that that's why it's like having you know your older people, older couples, or more mature couples come in and say, "Look, 
this is it. You got to recognize who you are. They gave absolute great advice. And if the if they had chosen to follow it, it, it might end up a little bit different. And the problem I have with something like the ultimatum is like if they don't get married, you're fucking 24. Oh, yeah. You got 10 more fucking years. Easy. What I like about the not excuse me, but the, the de- desperation between 30 and 40 is like, OK, hey, if true. I'm going to have kids. <laughs> And I'm going to get married. I got to do it now. Time is a ticking. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ticking. And, and that would be much. Because Steve is like, he's like, she, you want kids? And she's like, I want kids in a year. He's like, okay. What man is going to be like, okay, at 28, at 26. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, let's have kids. Yeah. He's like, okay, one year. Okay. She's like, I'd like to have a baby within a year. He's like, okay, done. And she's like, oh, oh shit. Okay. But at 33, she needs to have a baby in a year. And at 38, he needs to have enough energy to deal with a three-year-old at 41. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if you if you left it only people in their 30s to 40s, I would they'd be more invested. They'd work harder. At 25, you ain't trying to work. And they think they are. They think yeah, they I, are. And at 23, they think they are. But there's so, so much that is still kind of selfish about their actions. And they're still too emotional about the smallest of things. They don't know any better. They don't. And and I'm I'm not faulting them. Like the 23 year old girl on Ultimate, I'm not faulting her. You know, I recognize that- She genuinely believes it. She she genuinely believes it. Yeah, yeah, you know, so it, but it, it was really, it was really good, so. I'm just hoping that married at first sight, that they're they're looking at tw- Twitter. I, I hope that they're taking into consideration all the critique because this is this is the first time that I have ever seen so many people other than us say this is bullshit. This is absolute bullshit. And also, if you had made sure the men were older, the men yeah. should be at least. We'll say I would say 33 and up for men, mm-hmm. and the women could be from 30 to 35 or 28 to 35, maybe. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know what I mean? That's a good, and they should have a good distance between the ages, not like Suntory and and Love Is Bent. With, and that was a big, big age difference. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, but it, I think it would be more successful having a mature man like Steve dealing with annoy, dealing with annoy. Only Steve person like Steve, because she'd have been gone a long time ago. When the first time she yeah. left and didn't come back on the first night this was together. Oh, yeah. and, he, and the whole not compromising about the dog. Saying, Bitch, why the fuck did you fucking leave? I'm your fucking husband. Get your ass back here and when I fucking text you, text me back, motherfucker. Totally within his fucking right to do that. If he was 32. At 38, he's been like, I hurt my feelings. You, you, you went away. I couldn't contact you. I tried. I mm-hmm, kept trying. Mm-hmm. I was hurt by that. I wish you wouldn't do that. You only mm-hmm. get to get that from a man 35 and up. You ain't gonna get that. At 32, I'd have been like, fuck you, bitch. Right. And then watch the doors be fucking chained. I'm gonna change the locks on the fucking lovers. I'm gonna change the locks. <laughs> you Chris, you can't do that. Watch me, motherfucker. I'm gonna change it myself. I'm gonna put True. the latch on. Who this? Oh, you wanna come back now? I'll come back in a day. Bam. Yeah, that'd be funny. And I think this, I think like to your point, Chris, about mature couples, like the show Ready to Love. I I, 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 I just don't like their setup. I don't like the setup of you living in a house or everybody's dating one another, that kind of, I don't like that part of it, but I do like the fact that they are older. And, and exactly. honestly, huh? I, I said exactly. I yeah. watch it just because. I mean, I'm obviously way older than all of them, but Where they are, are in an age group. They were like in their mid forties. I have, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I saw a couple of like fifty something year olds. Mm-hmm. There, but, uh, yeah, no, like, but I just don't like the setup for it because it, it brings out a cattiness, and you see it more so with the women than you do with the men. And because it is a competition, I mean. If you're all dating the same guy and you're trying to stand out to some other person, 
there's nothing but but pettiness going to come out. So I get that. So they need to change that whole dynamic, change that game to a point, and 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 make it a better situation for these older couples to meet somebody. I would like to see a show that is a little bit more realistic where where people are. I they're going to be broken, like you said, Chris. Everybody's going to. I'm broken too, to a, to a point. Everybody, everybody's broken. Everybody has their thing. But the thing is, you recognize what yours are, and you say, "This is what I, I, I know I'm this way, and I don't want to bring this to the table, but it's going to come up on the table. So how are we going to deal with this? You know, with a mature person, you have those conversations. Yeah. Don't you? No. Yeah. I'm looking at Chris's face. He's like, you are dreaming, girl. Oh, you're right. You're t- <laughs> I'm just laughing at the fact that I have the freaks come out at night on the thing, and we're both popping our heads like and this. Like, oh, <laughs> agreeing like, with you like, to the rhythm. Like, we're going, yeah. We're, but we're agreeing with that. you. Like, yeah. That's funny. That's funny. Um, but that's all I got. That's all I got. That's all we got. Well, I let's hope talk I about us. Where, why ain't you here, Shahida? I told your ass to get a ticket and come on. I said... I ain't saying nothing now. You know you did not say that. <laughs> can you hear that? I can't hear it. You can't hear that? Oh, I can hear it now. Yeah, I hear it a little. So I guess we're going to end this on a high note. I guess, you know, Chris and I, you know, from our perspective homes, we do our dancing when it starts. So I guess we'll just end this. Dance we'll yourself go. right on out the pod. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Until next week, we'll be here. Same time, same place. I, I got, I, I, all I got to do is have a drink. I have some cocoa butter. Mm-hmm. That's all I got. You like this? <laughs> cocoa butter. Oh, my God. Too funny. All right, y'all. We'll see you. I got to go shut it down over there. Oh, yeah. Peace out. Yeah. Oh. Um, what y'all doing? What y'all doing later? Hanging out? She has her 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 cousin. Hold on.